Well, Rob Nilsson, you're back. How does that feel? Yeah, good. Um, yeah, it's obviously been a crazy, crazy day, crazy couple of days. Um, but, you know, f- finally it's got over the line and I'm, I'm really happy to be back. Tell us about the last couple of days. Um, well, obviously I knew when Harry was coming up here um, I didn't really think anything of it. I just was obviously a bit gutted at the fact that he was leaving a club and I was enjoying my, enjoying my football playing under him. Um, it was literally early morning on uh, Thursday. I just got a text saying that it might potentially be happening that I would come back. Um, I didn't read too much into it at the start, but um, obviously as the day went on and it uh, transpired that that it's actually happened, and yes, yeah, been a mad day, but really happy to be back here. It must feel absolutely bizarre to be sitting back in this dressing room. A dressing room, presumably. You thought you'd never be in again? Yeah, it does. Uh, you know, so it's, it's a, a brilliant dressing room. Uh, I didn't obviously expect to be to be back here whatsoever. Maybe in the away dressing room playing against the club, but uh, yeah, it's very strange, bit surreal. But um, no, looking forward to it. Tell us about Crawley. You've you've had a great time there, by all accounts. Yeah, uh, obviously I went down there in pre-season um, on like sort of a, a trial basis and. Uh, luckily enough, did enough to impress the manager to to sign me sign me down there. Um, I literally have been signed to the club for for two weeks. I think I've played four games uh, in two weeks, and and yeah, uh, no, I appreciate Crawley for giving me the opportunity and the platform to go and play to go and play football again. And luckily for me, that's obviously transpired to to coming back here again. So what was it that convinced you that it was the right decision to, to come back here? Um, obviously, I know the club and I know the direction the club wants to go in. But, uh, you know, Harry Kuehl has been absolutely brilliant for me. Uh, I've gone down there. It's given me a new lease of life, confidence, and I'm really enjoying my football. And I hope here that uh, I can show uh, what I can do and add a bit more to my game in the way that the style of play that he plays here, it really, it really suits my game. And, uh, I think that the the supporters and the people watching will really enjoy the the style of play and the way he wants to do things. What can the fans expect from an Harry Kuehl team? Um, a team that's an, an attacking team. You know, they want wants to get the ball down, wants to pass it. Um, an exciting team to watch. Um, that's what the message he was trying to get across to Crawley. You know, it's not um, obviously you've got to be solidly solid defensively, and that's and that will be the the main focus. But I think as time goes on and his uh, ideas get come across to the players, uh, I think you'll see a really enjoyable, exciting attacking team. What can the players expect from Harry Kuehl? Um A very hard-working manager. You know, he'll, he'll work a lot on getting the boys in the right shape and in, in an organisation, uh, both defensively and attacking. So you know exactly what you're going to be doing. You know exactly what he wants from you as a player. And then it's just up to the boys to obviously go out there and impress and um, and obviously to fit into his way and his style of, of doing things. He's obviously a young coach, fairly inexperienced, but had a really good season last year with Crawley, comfortable yeah. mid-table finish on pretty limited resources. What would you say from from your brief time working with Harry so far stands him out in terms of makes him unique from other managers you've worked for? Um, he's very studious in what he wants to do. He knows exactly what 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 he's doing and uh, the way that he wants to set up his team to play. Um, he's he's a young manager, but he's very clear that he wants to get to the very top of his profession. Um, and he he, want, he wants to to work hard and he wants to obviously win football matches and uh, that's the main thing that the club needs right now. Of the players who you played with last year, um, who do you think would be particularly looking forward to playing under a Harry Kuehl team, under his sort of remit? Which sort of players do you think are going to really benefit from his tutelage here? Uh, From the boys last year, there's a lot of good footballers in the team. Um, I'll probably say especially a player like Noor. Uh, who's very a technically gifted player, and I think you'll you'll see a lot more of what what he can do and, and when he expresses himself. Um, I think I think he'll be probably the the main one that will will shine. And obviously, there's been a huge number of new signings coming into the club as well. Um, plenty of competition for places in, in central midfield, and also 
a lot of firepower added up front too. You must be excited to, to come into a squad which on paper has improved, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. You know, obviously when I was sitting at home in the summer and watching what was going on, the signings that we were going, it was it was impressive. You know, obviously the chairman's uh, paid paid a lot of money for these players and they're very good players. Uh, it's just about now just obviously trying to gel, gel as a team uh, and everyone fighting competition for places. And and that's how and that's how it should be. So, you know, hopefully now we go on and uh, get the best out of each individual player and the, the old players that were here and the new signings. Looking around the dressing room, we can see a few of the magnetic strips still up there. So many new names around, but you've got the likes of Elliot Hewitt, and Matt Tootle as well. What are you looking for? Seeing the gruesome twosome? Then? Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, I've missed them two nutcases. <laughs> uh, no, they're good lads, and uh, I look forward to seeing them at, at training. Uh, stayed in touch with a few of the boys um, so now it'd be nice to see him tomorrow Forest Green Rovers tomorrow out Meadow Lane um, it's going to be good to be back where are you fitness wise you've played a few games already this season for Crawley you mentioned your pre-season was mentally probably a bit topsy-turvy but it sounds like you got some some good training into you and, and you started the season well yeah it was it's, I've obviously I think it's been a bit different to what I'm used to I haven't had a consistent pre-season as such but I still managed to get five pre-season games in so uh, I'd say I'm quite lucky I'm naturally quite a fit lad um, so hopefully that won't be a problem I've played obviously four games in the last uh, last two weeks um, one one of those being a full, full 90 and I didn't have a problem in that game so uh, no, I'm, I'm I'm fit and I'm I'm ready to go. 2016-17 player of the season. Yeah. You feel like you've got a point to prove. Yeah, definitely. You know, obviously I came off that back of the season on a high and looking forward to the next season. Uh, last year, for whatever reasons, it didn't it didn't happen. You know, these things happen in football. Uh, I didn't get the games that I wanted to, and I'm desperate to go out there and prove to everyone I should have been playing. I should have been playing last year. And, uh, and that's what I'm, I'm hoping to do now I'm back back at Meadow Lane back in Nottingham still yeah. got the house up here yeah still got the house up here the missus was still up here so uh, no I think she's she's quite happy we don't have to mess about too much in moving house and stuff like that so uh, no that's good do you enjoy life in the city because that yeah, must have that must have come into your thinking as well when you had the option to come back yeah you know I wouldn't have bought a house up here if I if I didn't enjoy my time up here, I'm, I'm settled. Um, we hadn't obviously sold the house or anything like that, so I'm completely settled. Obviously, I know the the, the surrounding areas, I know where the training is, where the games are. So now it's nice to come back and into an environment that you're you're familiar with. First training session coming yeah. up, back with your old new club. Yeah. Um, what does it feel like to be going into a group where you know so many of the lads, but so few of some of the others as well? Um, yeah, a bit strange, I suppose. Like it's a bit obviously a situation that I haven't been in before. Uh, but no, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward. I'm looking forward to obviously seeing the boys again, uh, and I'm looking forward to working with a manager that I have been for the last because it hasn't really been that long that I've been working with him. But I've loved my time working with him so far, and I'm I'm looking forward to that carrying on.